Hello there. Welcome to Green Patch, home of Blinky Bill. I'm Mr. Wombat, and this is my house. You'll find all sorts of games here. Oh, and if ever you need some help, just click on me. Oh, and can I suggest that the first thing you do is click on the open book and enjoy Blinky Bill's extraordinary balloon adventure. Click on this and I'll read you a story. Click on this and you can play along with the story. It was a beautiful day in Green Patch. Blinky Bill and the gang were out collecting gum leaves for dinner when suddenly they realised it was getting late. Blinky, I think it's time we went home, said Nutsy. Oh, don't worry, said Blinky. Just a few more gum leaves and we'll go. Using the mouse, click around the page to find hidden surprises. Blinky and the gang found a hot air balloon stuck in a tree. We'd get home much quicker in this balloon, said Blinky, climbing up the tree. <laughs> Come on everyone! The gang followed Blinky into the basket. of wind, the balloon took to the sky. The gang was flying high above the trees and high above Green Patch. Wow! said Blinky. <laughs> Look how small Splodge is! Meanwhile, Flap thought aloud, oh, I don't think the platypi are meant to fly. balloon eventually landed in another tree. At the bottom of the tree was an animal they'd never seen before. Ah, who are you? Asked Blinky. I'm Kevin the Kiwi, said the animal. Uh-oh, said Flap. I don't think we're in Australia anymore. The 
of New Zealand. flew until the balloon landed in a country far from their home called Peru. There they met a most unfamiliar creature, a llama called Leslie. She was friendly and wise. She knew Blinky and his friends needed help to get home, so she dragged the balloon to a very high place. to my usual food. said Leslie the Llama. You must visit us sometime, Flap suggested, and the others all nodded in agreement. Suddenly, Flap called excitedly, Look, there's a familiar tail. We must be home. That's not a platypus, Flap, said Blinky. No, I'm Benny the Beaver, said Benny. How can I be of assistance? So, uh, where are we now? This is the United States of America. We could be cousins. With a mouth like that, I doubt it.
the beaver were all becoming good friends and didn't notice they were quickly approaching a waterfall. Look out! Shouted Marcia. Don't worry, said Benny calmly. You won't fall down the waterfall. Your balloon will just float up, up and away. Maybe all the way home. about. Let the live in the water. did float up, up and away. The balloon floated on until it reached the Arctic, right on the top of the world. It was very white and very, very cold. Oh, oh, Blinky! Said a sad Nazi. It's late and we're freezing and, and we're... Deep in the snow, Blinky and his friends were losing hope. Oh, Blinky, it looks like we'll never get home now, said Flap. Suddenly, a strange head popped out of the snow. Hello, said a very friendly reindeer. You are a long way from Green Patch. Perhaps I should take you home. I get to see you every year at Christmas, when I help tow the sled for Santa Claus. Blinky and his friends could not believe it. They were home and safe. The reindeer had towed them halfway around the world, from the Arctic to Australia. Splodge was so happy that his friends had returned home. Welcome back, he exclaimed. This calls for a party. Reindeer? Sorry, it's just too hot for me. I should get back home myself. Everyone was glad to see the gang were safely home. Marcia told everyone how brave she was. 
flap described all his interesting new friends, Nutsy remembered the beautiful sights, and Blinky summed up the whole adventure in one word. Extraordinary! <laughs> Well, wasn't that a great story? If you think you can do them, you can try the memory games by clicking on The Thinking Blinky. Click on this to play some memory games. Welcome to the memory games. Using the mouse, click on any one of the objects on the page to play a memory game. Click on Mr. Wombat if you want to leave this page. Using the mouse, click on all the arrows that point to the right to find a hidden picture. Here's a clue. It's something that lives in the ocean. Now you can see what is big and lives in the ocean. It's a whale. Now, let's go back and choose another game. What kinds of transport can you see on the screen? Using the mouse, click and drag a name from below and put it on the correct picture and watch it move. Skateboard. Skis. Train. Push bike. Very good. You've sent them all on their way. Now it's your turn to zoom back and try something else. How many of these shapes can you find hidden in the picture? Using the mouse, click and drag a shape from below and put it onto the matching shape in the picture. Well done. The roof is a triangle shape. Well done. Yes, the rock is an odd shape. Good. The moon is a crescent shape. Well done. Yes, the rock is an odd shape. Yes, the car is a rectangle shape. Now that you've found all the shapes, let's find something else to do. Not all these groups of dingoes are the same. Using the mouse, click on the group that you think is the odd one out. Yes, this group has four dingoes, while all the others have five. Not all these groups of emus are the same. Using the mouse, click on the group that you think is the odd one out. Yes, this group has three emus, while all the others have four. Not all these groups of dingoes are the same. Using the mouse, click on the group that you think is the odd one out. Yes, this group has four dingoes, while all the others have three. Now let's go back and try something else. Can you help keep Nutsy warm when she visits the cold places in the world? Dress Nutsy by clicking on the clothes you think she might need, and then drag them to her to put them on. Thank you. Oh, thank you.
Thank you. Oh, thank you. warmer now. Well done. Now Nutsy will be warm in this cold country. Now that you've dressed Nutsy, let's find something else to do. Using the mouse, point to a word that best describes how Blinky felt when he was stuck in the snow. Listen to the words and then click on the one that you think is best. Alone. So, you thought that Blinky may have been alone when he was stuck in the snow. Well done. Now let's go back and find something else to do. Here's a game of counting time. First, click the mouse to make Flap jump from the balloon with his parachute. Then, click on the number of seconds it took him to reach the ground. Don't forget to count the seconds from when Flap jumps. Six. Good counting. It took Flap six seconds to reach the ground. Click the mouse button to make Flap jump again. Five. Good counting. It took Flap five seconds to reach the ground. Well done. Now, let's try something else. Help Nutsy collect some gum leaves for her dinner. Click and drag to make the hand tool put eight leaves into her bag. When you think you've collected the correct number, click on Nutsy. Oh, good. That's enough for now. Eight yummy gum leaves for dinner. Thank you. Good counting. Now, let's play another game. Click and hold the mouse to make the pencil draw a line between a picture and the word that it matches. Train. Dog. <laughs> Balloon. <laughs> Good. Now it's time we disappeared and found another game. Welcome back. Ah, what would you like to do next? Click on this to print a drawing. Welcome to the printing page. Choose a drawing you like and click on it using the mouse pointer. Then click yes to confirm your choice. Oh, and make sure your printer is turned on and connected. Now, have fun colouring.
Welcome back. What would you like to do next? Click on this and we can do some painting. Welcome to the painting page. Using the mouse, click on a character to begin. Paint with the paintbrush tool and choose a colour from the palette. Click, hold and drag to move the fun objects with the hand tool. Click on Mr Wombat if you want to leave this page. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? Click on this and you can see some animals from around the world. Welcome to my Balloon Journey Slideshow. Long before Blinky and his friends went adventuring in a balloon, I did some travelling myself. And while I floated across the countries of the world, I photographed many of the animals that live around our planet Earth. You can now see some of the amazing creatures that live in our world. Using the mouse, click on any one of the small animal pictures on the screen and I will then tell something about them. When you want to go back to my home, just click on me in the corner. Gnome. The gnome used to be a wild and elusive animal. However, over the years, it's been tamed and taught to keep very, very still. Well, because of this, gnomes can be found in gardens and on the front steps of homes around the world. Bison. These are bison. In the past, bison used to roam freely across North America. As you can see, they have a very large head. This head is surrounded by a large mass of hair. In summer, to stay cool, the long hair around their head falls out. In winter, when it is cold, the hair grows back to keep the bison warm. Llama. This is a very friendly llama. Just the one that helped Blinky and his friends on their balloon adventure. Llamas are related to camels. But, as you can see, llamas do not have any humps. The llama helps people by carrying things over long distances. We can also get wool from llamas. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? Click on this and we can try a dot to dot puzzle. Welcome to the puzzle page. Join the dots by moving the mouse so that the moving number overlaps the same number on the page. When the same numbers overlap, click the mouse button. Then watch the balloon help draw your picture. Can you guess what it is? Well done. 
Now, let's try another. Well done. Now, let's try another. Click on Mr. Wombat if you want to leave this page. Welcome back. What would you like to do next? When you've had enough, just go out the door. Oh, but don't forget to say goodbye. Well, thanks for dropping in. See you next time. Bye now.